Well, hello everybody. It's Sarah coming to you from the Dorothy Alley Memorial Library. I am super excited to be with you today because of course, I just miss seeing all of my friends at the library. But also, we need to talk about summer, something everybody loves doing. And summer at the library is a magical time. And this year is no exception. Our special summer reading theme is Imagine Your Story. And we have been busy planning lots of fun and interesting programs for you to do all summer long. And maybe the biggest of these programs is our Summer Reading Challenge. And that is when all of you get to read and earn tickets for fabulous prizes. Now, we always get lots of questions about our summer reading program and how it works. And I am full of those questions today. Lucky for us, Miss Jess is here with Petunia Pug to answer some of those questions. Hey, Jess. Hi, Sarah. Hey, everybody. Hi, Petunia. <laughs> Petunia says hi, too. Are you ready for some of my questions? I have a lot of them. We're totally ready. All right, let's get started. So probably the first question, Jess, is what is our summer challenge this year? And how does it work? The challenges this year are all ages. So that means we have a challenge for babies through to adults. It is virtual, so it will be all online. You'll be logging minutes and activities all on our new Beanstack website or the Handy Dandy Beanstack mobile app. And as you go, as you read, as you log those activities and you log those minutes, you will earn raffle tickets to go into different prize drawings and you will earn virtual badges. So essentially the more that you read, the more chances that you have to go into our awesome prize drawings. Okay, I see how this works. So people are gonna log the minutes that they've read and activities that they've completed and they'll earn badges and tickets to put into raffles of their choice. That sounds pretty easy. Maybe Jess, you can tell us a little bit more about the prizes that we're offering for the different challenges this summer. We have so many amazing prize drawings this year. So for our babies and toddlers, we have prizes to Phoenix Books and to Boho Baby. Also for participating and finishing that program, you will receive a rubber ducky and a board book. For our pre-K through fifth and our sixth through 12th, we have all of these amazing raffle prizes. So again, the more you read, the more raffle tickets you will earn. We have things like book sets, Apple AirPods, slime kits. Uh, we have gift cards to places like Barnes & Noble and GameStop and Superb Cupcakes. Just so many awesome chances to win. And for that program or that challenge as well, you will be able to receive, just for registering, a new book. And if you finish 10 hours of reading before the end date, which is July 31st, then you will also receive a free ice cream voucher for Adams Farm Market. And for our adults, we have two awesome raffle prizes. So you'll go in the drawing for either a $200 gift card to Phoenix Books or a $200 gift card for REI in Williston. And don't forget that all of those raffle tickets have to be in by the end date of the challenges, and that's July 31st. So the program will run June 12th through July 31st. Oh my gosh, those sound awesome. I have a feeling we're gonna be seeing a lot of reading going on in Williston and St. George this summer. And with that in mind, I do have a question about what counts as reading time. So obviously, if I'm reading a book to myself, that counts as minutes read. What if I am reading to my dog, Alfie? Can I count that as minutes read? And what if I am listening to an audiobook with my family, something I love to do in the summer? Would that count toward my reading minutes? So things that are acceptable would be, like you said, reading to your pet, like I read to Petunia or you read to your dog Alfie, that totally counts. You can read to a hamster, read to whatever you would like. You can be read to, right? You could maybe read to your sibling, read to your grandma, you can read outside, you can listen to an audiobook, listen to it in the car, maybe listen to a play away. There's so many different ways that you can log these activities and log these reading minutes. Great. 
Well, with so much reading and listening going on, do you have some ideas about how people can keep track of all this time? So the best way for you to keep track of minutes is really up to you. Now the Beanstack website that you're going to be putting those minutes into to earn those badges and raffle tickets, or if you're using the mobile app, that has a really easy user-friendly way for you to log those minutes on. But you can also do it the old school way and then go in later on. So if you wanna just maybe keep track on the back of a bookmark or maybe just keep track on a notebook or a piece of paper, that is fine as well. Then you can always log into your account that where you've registered for Beanstack and you've registered for the Summer Reading Challenge and go on there and log those minutes right on that website or right on that app so you can earn the virtual badges and you can earn those raffle tickets to get into the prize drawings. Well, I think I'm ready to sign up for the challenge. Where do I go to do that? All they need to do is go online to our website. That's damlvt.org, D-A-M-L-V-T.org, and they will find Summer Reading Challenge on the website where they can get all of the details and register. Summer's almost here. When can families start signing up? You can pre-register starting on June 8th, and then the program will start on June 12th and run through July 31st. So Jess, I know that a library card is like a golden ticket to borrow things from our library, like books and games and DVDs and playaways and all sorts of things that we have here at the library. But do people need to have a library card in order to take part in the Summer Reading Challenge? You do not need to have a library card to sign up for the challenges. You just need to be a Williston or St. George resident. Well, I, for one, am super excited about the Summer Reading Challenge this year, and I think kids and adults are going to have a great time taking part. I am wondering if there are any other programs we should be telling people about today. I'm pretty sure I heard something about wild animals, and maybe even a little something about disgusting science. Maybe you can tell us a little bit more. So yes, we have so many great events and programs this summer. We have Mad Science, which you mentioned, which will be a super gross, icky one where you get to be your own mad scientist in your kitchen. That is gonna take place on June 20th and that's for pre-K through fifth graders. We also have Wildlife Encounters coming. That's going to be another virtual event on July 25th. They're bringing lots of cool animals and we get to ask questions. I know they're gonna have a macaw, a hedgehog, and a sugar glider there. There are tons of other events. I'll go through them quickly. We're having a ukulele jam and sing along, um, some comics classes for kids and teens and adults. We are going to have an author visit by picture book author Josh Funk. We will also have some to-go craft kits or um, these on-the-go craft kits that you'll be able to pick up in our vestibule. And we will have another story walk in Williston Community Park. So I do have one more question that I think some people may be wondering about. And that is whether Dottie the Bookmobile will be running this summer. Jess, can you tell us a little bit more? The Bookmobile will be running this summer. Yes, Dottie will be back. That will be from June 16th until August 27th. We'll have things for kids and adults. We'll also have some to-go book bags for easy pickup as well. That is so wonderful to hear because I know lots of families look forward to seeing the Bookmobile come through their neighborhoods every summer. So Jess, what if somebody has a question for us that we didn't answer today? Or what if they would like to borrow something from the library? What is the best way for them to get in touch with us? So you can get in touch with us via email. If you have any questions, you can email us at programs at d-a-m-l-v-t dot org and we'll be happy to answer your questions about this program, about any of the fun events that I mentioned, or about the summer reading challenge. Um, you can also, of course, give us a call at 802-878-4918. That's great. Jess and Petunia, thanks for answering all of my questions and for being with us today. And everybody else, I hope you keep reading, enter our reading challenge, join a library program, and have just a fantastic summer. And I look forward to the time when we can see you here at the library. Bye-bye, everybody.